Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stella in Singapore. So next Monday, the school start ready. Yay! So I think most of you guys were also excited and you were you want to try your best to get the GPA 4.0. And yes, here the video is about the grading system in RP. Some of you guys may wonder why I should record the grading system in Republic Polytechnic. Uh, as in the previous video, I have mentioned that I was really panicked and worried about my GPA because of the daily grade in the Republic Polytechnic. And I also think that some of the juniors will also fit in the same way when the daily grade is published or the MSA or the ESE result is published and you will start panicking about your GPA. So I hope that this video will somehow be helpful to some of my juniors and yes, Keep on watching this video to know more about the grading system in Republic Polytechnic. The grading system in Republic Polytechnic is like the daily grades, all based on the MSA and then the ESE mid exam and then the end semester exam. So for daily grade, uh, it is based on the module. Some of the module it will take about sixty percent, so it's very very much high, and the final exam will take about the forty percent. And if you got the mid semester exam, then the mid semester exam will be 20% and then the end semester will be 20%. So it based on the module and the uh, facilitator, the teacher of the module will explain you how many percentage for the daily grade and the how many percentage for the mid semester exam and the end semester exam. So you have to listen carefully about that. Uh, since for the Monday it is for the semester one year one. So for semester one, uh, for biomed in Republic Polytechnic, uh, the daily grade is 60% and the uh, ESE is weighted for the 40%. If I remember correctly, uh, we got only one subject for the mid-semester exam, that is mathematics. And so for the mathematics, uh, the 20% for the MSE and the 20% for the ESE. So here we got daily grades. So it's, to be honest, it's very, very stressful because you have to do it every day to get a good grade and get good GPA. So how we get the daily grade? So I have mentioned in the previous video. So if you haven't watched the previous video, please go ahead and watch that. So it is based on the worksheet, presentation, quiz, and then the reflection journal. So for the uh, first two, the worksheet and the presentation is the teamwork and the rest two is like your individual work. And yes, your class participation and answering questions to the teachers and the explaining the lessons or the concept to your classmates also uh, included in the daily grades. So for the quiz, I've, uh, I have mentioned in the previous video that uh, most of them is like at the end of the class. Uh, if I remember correctly, for the math and the chemistry in the semester one biomedical science, uh, they are likely to have the quiz at the end of the class. So it's very rash to remember all the concepts and sometimes the questions are a bit hard and like we don't have enough time to think about that. So I, I just have to say that uh, you have to revise all the concepts during your break time, that lunch break time. For me, in semester one, the daily grade was really overwhelming because it is 60% and one grade can be 10% of it. So here comes, uh, what if I got like one or two grade B for each module? Does this affect our GPA? At the start of the school, like in semester one, to be honest, I didn't feel like the daily grade really affect my GPA. I just feel like it's a normal exam in the class and I anyhow answered the exam. So for the first three lessons, uh, I got like two Bs for the biology. And I started to ask my senior and the mentor how to uh, like calculate my GPA based on the daily grade. They just say like A is GPA 4 and the B is GPA 3. Then I started to calculate because uh, I already got 2B for the biology. So it's likely that my biology will be the GPA 3. And when I divide them, my GPA is like 3.2 or 3.3. And I started to panic. Uh, well, uh, how can I go to the university after my poly with this grade? And I start to regret about my big grades for the biology because I cannot change my previous grade. So I don't know how to calculate. And yes, I started to panic and very, very much worried. 
mm, I don't want you guys to think that I make up the story. So I will show my daily grade for the uh, semester one. Uh, it's just I just want to let you guys feel rest assured if you get one or two B. So here, let's go to biology. Mm, and yes, my first two lessons, I got B. And in lesson five, I got one A. And I was really super happy uh, because it's my first A in the biology. And yes, in lesson six, I got B. So here, I would like to mention that I got same marks as my friend. Yeah, but her class participation is very much better than me. So she got A and I got B. So here, I, what I want to mention is like, uh, the class participation, for the class participation, the lecturers will compare among the students and they will give the level four to the students who are much more active. And in lesson seven onwards, I start to get my A. So is my A is the high A or high B, high, high A or low A. So for lesson seven, it was the high A because I got the full marks, right? And moving for okay, how can I go back? Okay, wait. Oh, okay. So for lesson 12, so let's go anyhow one. So for lesson 11, I also got the high A. So for this, because the rest are the very much high A, like the A I got was the very much high A. So I can save my 3B here and overall I got the distinction. So after that, uh, I started to notice the like answer tips and tricks, uh, how to answer and how to get the marks from the teacher and how to get A by class participation and asking questions like the very smart question, like the concept based question to the teacher and answer the question and helping out the classmates can pull up my grade. So later on, I got the grade A and for Final biology grade was uh, like distinction. So here I would like to say that it doesn't matter if you got like B, one or two B in the module, uh, but it should be the high B because they got the B plus or B minus. If you got B minus, it means that it's like very low and close to the C. If you got B plus, it means that it's close to A. So uh, try hard to get your best and Yes, if you get A, uh, make it sure that A is very high A. So if you got B, uh, then uh, the A plus can help your B plus to get to the A. So the average will be the overall distinction. And yes, here you can also see in my daily grades that uh, my level and safety only got to B. Bad, bad, bad. The, my final grade for the lab and uh, left safety is like, B plus and it pulled down my GPA. So, uh, so the daily grade somehow matters, and yes, the final exam also matters because in the final exam, because uh, I would say that the left safety didn't call the uh, like past year paper for us to practice, so we don't know any question format, and like the quiz, uh, we did the quiz after the class, uh, but. We cannot look at the quiz that we took during the daily grades. So we don't have anything to reference bad notes. But in the exam, as I mentioned in the previous video that uh, they never ask the question directly from the notes. We have to understand the concept and the tips and tricks to answer the question. So I didn't have any reference. And yes, fair enough, I got the B plus for the module and the put on my grade. So, so is that quiz hard or easy? Um, I would say that it's like Singapore culture. The question is not the right and it's more based on the concept. So as long as you understand the concept and you know the keywords to answer the question, then you get the mark. So for RP itself, the daily grade is more likely to be subjective based on the teachers. So the common is that um, if you can say the keywords and know um, that like more as more comprehensive as you can, then you can get the gold marks. So like, yes, there are tips and tricks to answer the uh, quiz and the refreshing journal. Then how about in year one semester two? So for year one semester two, the daily grade takes about 40% and then 
uh, MSA and the ESC took about 60%. So for all the modules in the semester two called the MSA. So for the MSA, it took about 25% and then ESE took about 35%. <clears throat> So here I would like to show my daily grades for my semester two. Uh, so for semester two, we got the microbiology, molecular and cell biology, we call MCB in short term and biochem. So let's go do this one first. It's my worst subject to be honest. So I got C here, it's my very first C. And I try to save it in like after the break, but I still got one B. And for the overall, I still got P plus. Um, so the daily grade maybe somehow matters. So let's go back to the uh, molecular cell biology. It's my proudest subject. I got straight A. <laughs> I got straight A for that. So the overall is distinction. Uh, um, before the exam, I already know that I will get the distinction. I don't know how can I get this kind of confidence. And for biochem, this is my favorite subject because the teacher was really, really nice. And I got to be, that is okay because my RG was incorrect. It's like they asked us to like uh, diagnose the patients that based on the enzyme deficiency that I diagnosed wrongly. So I got to be here. So fair enough. I got B. But overall, stay distinction. And I also know that I will get distinction for this subject also. So maybe you may also know because based on your daily grade as well. So as you can see that for the microbiology is my worst subject in the semester two. And it was my first C in the overall journey of the overall year one journey of the Republic Polytechnic and uh, it really affected my GPA and I tried to save my GPA but I failed to save it so for overall uh, I got papers for the microbiology and yes my GPA drops because of that so here based on my experience I would like to say that just try your best in daily grades and MSA or ESE whatever try your best in the present because trying to save your GPA is not the good way we don't know how the MSA or the ESE questions comes up for the microbiology ESE exam was quite hard and like we uh, like once you see the question you don't know like which concept I should put in this question so just try your best in the present and I would say that the daily grades are easier to get compared to the MSA and the ESE because daily grade is just like you have to say what you know for the MSA and the ESE is just like they are very much broad and they can like put so many tricks in the question and keywords that you never think of so it's very hard to get the good grades in the MSA or ESE I just say it is hard I didn't say it is impossible so as long as you try hard then you can get so here I have compared some of my semester one and then the semester two. So based on that, you can see that in semester one, I have managed to save my biology to get a distinction. But uh, for the microbiology in semester two, I try to save it, but I just try to save it. So try your best in the presence. And I hope you roughly know the grading system in Republic Polytechnic. Yes, if you need any help for the study in Republic Polytechnic, especially in biomedical science, um, you can feel free to contact me to hire me as a tutor. Yes. So here I use my academic record as the portfolio to show you guys. And yes, I will try my best to explain the concept to you guys and um, tips and tricks how to answer the quiz and then the refreshing journal. And, uh, help you guys to get the A and distinction at the end of the year one and yes, this is my advertisement of uh, being a tutor and I hope this video will be helpful for you to understand more about the grading system in Republic Polytechnic So if you got one or two B, don't worry too much You can save it at the end of the day and try to get overall A at least overall A for each module so you can get the GPA 4.0 it doesn't matter if you get distinction or A because at the end, the GPA is the same for the distinction and A. Of course, the distinction will be better. And trying to get A because 
what what why I say so is because you can see that I got to be blessed and it pulled down my GPA. So I don't want you guys to get depressed and pull down your GPA. It doesn't worth it. Because A and B plus like there are only two or three marks difference and the GPA is like uh zero point one difference ready. It really affects our future like going to the university so try hard to get your a um, and of course if you get b plus for most subjects then your gpa will go down a lot so if you have any questions related to the republic polytechnic feel free to comment down or just message me to the stella in singapore facebook page and yes if you want any tutor for the biomedical science and yes contact me can contact me as well we can negotiate the time for the tutoring session and yes thank you so much for watching this video and see you guys in the next video bye bye